Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using these wings from Dollar Tree, this black macrame rope, and some burlap. I started by taking the wings and removing just one of the smaller wings with the yellow and black stripe, and then took this wooden circle round, painted the whole thing with black acrylic paint, and then I'm going to hot glue that to the little wing that I had removed. Just trying to get the placement right for it. And the wings came from Dollar Tree and they were in the, the toy aisle. Next, I took the two larger wings from it and cut those. And I did not remove the whole thing. I just pulled the wire out from both of those. And it's a little hard to see on video, so I took one of the wings and I'm kind of making a heart, but one of the sides of the heart is a little bit bigger than the other. And then I just take the other wire from the wing and match it up with the one I bent, just making sure that they both are about the same. And then I want them to stay closed. So I take my pliers and on the end of one side, I fold it up. The other side, I fold it down. So then they hook together and stay closed. And then I take each of those and hot glue around the wire and place down my burlap. And then I just continue that until I have the entire piece of wire covered. And I do that to both of them. After I have it covered, I just cut off the excess burlap. And then around the entire edge, I take the black macrame rope from Dollar Tree and hot glue that around the edge. And I also did one extra layer so it's on the side of like the wire so you don't see it on the edges. And then I take the black macrame rope and go around the little bee body with that. And on the ends of those, I just put a little bit of hot glue on the back of the bee body and place the macrame rope down on that just so you don't see the frayed pieces of the rope. And then I take a piece of floral wire and fold a piece of it in half and then cut it. Hot glue one of the ends of the wire and stick a small bead, which is also from Dollar Tree, right on the end. And I make two of those. And then I hot glue the wires to the back of the bee head, kind of at an angle away from each other. And then I take black acrylic paint, paint the whole bead and the wires, and I gave those two coats. Next, I take black acrylic paint and a little round sponge brush and make little circles on the inside of both of the wings. And then I take a, another piece of burlap and cut it down to fit the back of the bee head and just hot glue that down to cover all of that mess I made. Then I take some twine and wrap it around this square piece. I usually wrap it around my hand to make my twine flowers, but I wanted it larger. So this is about a four by four. Wrap it around a bunch of times and tie a piece around one of the sides. Pull it off 
the wood piece. I pinch the whole piece in the center and then tie another piece of twine around that. Just making sure it's as centered as possible and knot it a couple times and spread out all of the little loops and cut off the excess twine. And I make two of those. And then after I have them both made, I crisscross them one on top of the other and just fan out all of the loops and hot glue them together. And then I also took a little sunflower and hot glued that to the center. Next, I take my wings and I'm gonna hot glue the tips of them together where they'll be meeting and then place them down on the bee body, more towards the head. And then I hot glue the twine flower right where those meet. And then I take some twine and make a loop with a large knot on the bottom and hot glue that to the back of the bee head. Last thing I do is flip it back over and put some hot glue on the back of the wings on top of the body where they meet, just for some extra stability. And that is it for this project. I just love how it turned out and I hope you guys do too. Thank you so much for watching.